17 most expensive ongoing projects in Africa. Change comes with growth, and it does so in a variety of ways. Oftentimes, it comes with new construction projects that invite development. From the construction of hospitals and schools to mega projects transforming Africa as a whole. In this video, we'll be looking at 17 most expensive ongoing projects in Africa. In case you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the post notification bell in order to get notified whenever we upload a new video like this one. Without further ado, let's get into the video. 17. Marine Drive Accra Project The Marine Drive Accra Project, a 241-acre reconstruction proposal for Accra's waterfront, was unveiled by Accra's Ministry of Tourism, Art and Culture. The goal of the project, which began with the nation's 60th anniversary of independence, was to design a distinctive skyline for Accra and turn the city core of the capital into a premier tourist destination. The Marine Drive Accra project would also aid Ghana's growing creative and cultural industries. A Dye Associates plan is anticipated to include a brand new waterfront promenade that has the coast as a humming leisure and recreation hub. A portion of the site will be covered by the promenade, which will link the most well-known landmarks and provide access to the beach. This project is worth $1.2 billion. 16. Accra Sky Train Project, Ghana Accra Sky Train is a planned fully automated elevated light railway metro network that is intended to serve the Accra city in Greater Accra, Ghana. The network will have five routes, four of which are radial routes that originate at a new terminal at the Kwame Nkrumah interchange and another route that loops around the city center. The total track length across all routes is 194 kilometers. In 2018, the government of Ghana signed an MOU with iSky Train Consortium of South Africa and in November 2019, following the completion of a feasibility study, the parties signed a Build Operate Transfer Concession Agreement. Reportedly, iSky Train Consortium will develop the system at an estimated cost of $2.6 billion. 15. Hydropower Project, Ethiopia Mendaya is a 2000 megawatt hydropower project that is planned on Abe River in Ethiopia. The project is currently in a noun stage and will be developed in a single phase. The gross head and net head of the project will be $117.4 million and $109.8 million respectively. The project is expected to generate 12,100 gigawatts of electricity, while project cost is amounted to be around $2.7 billion. The information regarding the project parameters is sourced through secondary information sources such as electric utilities, equipment manufacturers, developers, project proponents, deals and financial reporting, regulatory body, associations, government planning reports, and publications. Wherever needed, the information is further validated through primary from various stakeholders across the power value chain from leading players within the power sector. 14. Construction of Ammonia Plants Project, South Africa Hive Hydrogen and Lind PLC, via its fully owned subsidiary African Oxygen, announced their intention to construct a green ammonia factory in Nelson Mandela Bay, South Africa, worth $4.6 billion. An estimated 780,000 tons of green ammonia can be produced annually at the proposed complex, which will be constructed in the 9,003 hectare Sowega Special Economic Zone next to the port of Ngura. This green ammonia will be exported to international markets. This plan calls for building an on-site solar power plant at a nearby farm. The project will be the largest of its kind in sub-Saharan Africa and one of the biggest in the world, just for the renewable energy and energy storage component. 
Invest SA, a division of the South African Department of Trade, Industry and Competition, will assist Hive Hydrogen by facilitating investments through the Invest SA one-stop shop system. The project is worth $4.6 billion. 13. Great Tortu Aimeyin Project, Senegal This is a liquefied natural gas project situated offshore in deep water that lies between Mauritania and Senegal. The production capacity of the facility will be 10 million tons of liquefied natural gas per year when completed. The project will be executed in phases. Interestingly, the development of Phase 1 began in 2019. By the end of this year, the facility will start producing liquefied natural gas in commercial quantities. The Greater Tortu Ameyin project is the deepest offshore project in Africa. While producing liquefied natural gas, other phases of the project will continue alongside the start of production. This project is estimated to cost $5 billion. 12. Development of Phosphate Deposit, Algeria The project will comprise phosphate deposit development and exploitation in Bled El Hadba, Denel Ong, and Tebasa. Chinese companies Wuhuan Engineering and Tainan Chemical, a producer of nitrogen and phosphate fertilizers, have inked the agreement with Algerian companies Manal and Asmidal, a subsidiary of Algerian energy major Sonatrac. The agreement will result in the establishment of the Algerian Chinese Fertilizers Company, ACFC, an Algerian Chinese business for the Integrated Phosphates Project. Along with building port facilities at the port of Anaba, it will also involve turning phosphates into fertilizer. In addition to producing 5.4 million tons per annum of fertilizer, the project is anticipated to add 12,000 construction employment, 6,000 direct jobs, and 24,000 indirect jobs during the operating phase. This project is worth about $7 million. 11. ESCOM Power Stations Transition, South Africa In order to finance its transition away from coal, South Africa will obtain grants and loans totaling $8.5 billion from the US, Germany, France and Britain. It is anticipated that the partnership to speed up South Africa's transition away from coal would serve as a model for other nations in the future. According to Andre de Reuter, CEO of ESCOM, the state-owned company in South Africa wants to accelerate its new energy project with its share of the multi-billion dollar cash. South Africa presently ranks 12th in the world for greenhouse gas emissions and mainly relies on outdated coal-fired power plants to generate its electricity by 2030. This plan will contribute to decreasing emissions. By utilizing the low production cost of solar photovoltaic power generation at its mines, ESCOM hopes to lower its carbon footprint and attain net zero emission status by the year 2050. At its mining locations, ESCOM will first build solar photovoltaic facilities. It will put in energy storage facilities. This project is worth $8.5 billion. 10. Bagamoyo Port, Tanzania Bagamoyo Port in Tanzania is said to be the largest port in East and Central Africa. The project is a three-state venture between Tanzania, China, and Oman. State-owned China Merchants Port is building the port, while an Oman Sovereign Wealth Fund will establish a 1,700-hectare special economic zone adjacent to the port. Estimated to cost $10 billion, the port project is estimated to take about 30 years to construct to reach its full potential. The port will be able to handle 20 times more cargo than the port in the Tanzanian capital, Dar es Salaam, the country's largest port. This will be a major transformation in Tanzania once the project is complete, as well as provide more jobs to its citizens. 9. Mohamed the Sith Tanjay Tech City Project, Morocco 
One of the most expensive projects launched in Africa is a joint venture between the governments of Morocco and China in the construction of the Mohammed Si Thanji Tech City project. The project was initially announced in 2016 during Morocco's King Mohammed VI's visit to Beijing when the two countries signed significant agreements, including the relaxation of visa requirements for Chinese nationals in order to boost tourism to the North African country. At this time, there was growing interest in the project and disagreement over ownership stakes in the new enormous smart city, which delayed the project's launch because the project's primary Chinese sponsor, a hate group, withdrew. The Moroccan BMCE bank negotiated a deal with the other two major Chinese developers, the state-owned China Communications Construction Company and China Road and Bridge Corporation. But due to the project's significance, it was restarted in April 2019 during the Belt and Road Forum in Beijing. The estimated $10 billion Tanjay Tech City, with its enormous dimensions of 2,000 hectares overall, has been scheduled for construction and stages for a 10-year period, according to Ilya Zalamari, president of the Tanjay Tedo in Al Hasama region. 2,000 acres roads, electricity, water and rail connections for the city have already started to be built. 200 Chinese businesses in the food, automotive, aerospace, renewable energy and textile sectors are expected to locate the new smart city. These businesses will produce goods to export to market economies in Africa and Europe, taking advantage of Morocco's free trade agreement with those regions and eventually avoiding tariffs that would otherwise be applied to Chinese goods. This project is worth $10 billion. 8. Lagos Calabar Railway, Nigeria The West East Coastal Rail Line, also known as the Lagos Calabar Railway Line, is a rail infrastructure project that is intended to connect Calabar, a port city in the southeast region, close to the border with the neighboring Republic of Cameroon, with Lagos, the largest city of the West African Republic. The project calls for 22 stations with subsidiary facilities, along with a railway line measuring 1,402 kilometers in length. A room for administration and level crossings along with lane tracks and power lines. Other tasks include installing safety electricity lighting and signaling systems. The project will be carried out in two stages. The first phase will run from Calabar to Port Hackett and the second via Onitsha, which will run from Port Hackett to Lagos. The Federal Minister of Transportation, Chibuko Michi, revealed in July of last year that the London-based Standard Chartered Bank had agreed to provide $11 billion of the $14.4 billion required for the project's implementation to fund the construction of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Rail. The Federal Executive Council ratified the award of a contract worth $11 billion for the project's implementation in August of last year. Once the project gets going, it should be finished in six years. This project is estimated at $14.4 billion. 7. Konza Technology City, Kenya Kenya started building the $14.5 billion Konza Technology City in Machakos County in an effort to entice technology, talent and investors to fuel the country's economic growth. The name African Silicon Savannah refers to Kansas City, which is 64 kilometers south of Nairobi's capital and is modeled after the American Silicon Valley. The business process outsourcing, software development, data centers, business continuity centers, call centers, light manufacturing industries, and academic institutions are the focus of the smart city. Among other things, progress has been made on building roads, the utility corridor, and installing a water reclamation system. The Kansas City project has so far attracted a number of wealthy investors, among them a prestigious Korean university. But the project's sluggish progress is worrying some of its important stakeholders. 
The key flagship brand in Kenya's 2030 Economic Development Plan is Kansas Technology City. With a thriving digital economy, cutting-edge dependable infrastructure, and business-friendly governance systems, it is anticipated to be a city of the highest caliber. Additionally, a diverse range of businesses, employees, residents, and urban amenities will call home. According to Konza Technologies' official website, the project has already received investment totaling more than $820 million. In total, this project is worth $14.5 billion. 6. Dangote Oil Refinery, Nigeria Dangote Oil Refinery is in no doubt one of the largest and most expensive construction projects in Africa right now with a capacity of 650,000 barrels per day. The project is an integrated refinery and petrochemical project under construction in the Lekki Free Zone near Lagos, Nigeria. When it is finished, it will be the largest single train facility in the world and the largest oil refinery in Africa. The project was initially budgeted at $11 billion, but because of some changes, it went up to $19 billion. Up to $15 billion has been spent on the project already, of which $10 billion went toward the refinery, $2.5 billion toward the fertilizer plant, and $2.5 billion toward pipeline infrastructure. The refinery will produce polypropylene, jet fuel and gasoline and diesel of Euro V quality, along with 9,500 direct jobs and 25,000 indirect jobs. 5. Lapset Corridor Project The Lapset Corridor Program is Eastern Africa's largest and most ambitious infrastructure project, bringing together Kenya, Ethiopia and South Sudan. This mega project consists of seven key infrastructure projects, starting with a new 32 berth port at Lamu, Kenya. The Lapset Corridor Program is a regional flagship project intended to provide transport and logistics infrastructure, aimed at creating seamless connectivity between the Eastern African countries. The project connects a population of 160 million people in three countries. Additionally, the Lapset Corridor is part of the larger land bridge that will connect the East African coast from Lamo Port to the west coast of Africa. The project was initially conceived in 1975 but never took off due to various reasons. The project was later revived and included in Kenya Vision 2030. In 2009, the cost of Lapsed was estimated at $16 billion, but recent estimates arrived after studies, putting the cost of the project between $22 to $23 billion. US dollars. On April 1, 2013, Kenya's government announced the setting up of a government agency. The Lapsed Corridor Development Authority was to manage the project on behalf of the Kenyan government. While this project is still under development, it is estimated to be worth over 22 to 23 billion dollars. 4. El Daba Nuclear Power Plant Egypt and Russia signed an agreement on the 19th of November 2015 in constructing a nuclear power plant in Egypt called the El Daba Nuclear Power Plant. El Daba nuclear power plant is the first nuclear power plant planned for Egypt and will be located in El Daba, Mantruf Governorate, Egypt, about 320 kilometers northwest of Cairo. The plant will have four VVER 1200 reactors, making Egypt the only country in the region to have a Generation 3 Plus reactor. On the 19th of November 2022, the ceremony for the pouring of the first concrete for Unit 2 of the El Daba nuclear power plant took place at the El Daba construction site in Egypt, marking the commencement of the main construction phase for Unit 2 of the El Daba nuclear power plant project. The construction of the El Daba nuclear power plant Unit 2 speaks to the fact that the project is gaining pace. Rosatom, a nuclear power company, continues its active work abroad. We are building 34 power units in 11 countries. 
But the project in Egypt has a special importance for us, as El Daba will become the first nuclear power plant on the African continent built using the Russian technology. This is the largest project of Russian-Egyptian cooperation since the time of Aswan Dam construction. This project is worth between 25 to 30 billion dollars. 3. The Great Man-Made River Project in Libya The 4,000 km long $36 billion Great Man-Made River Project in Libya includes well fields, pump stations, water treatment facilities, and storage reservoirs with the aim of supplying over 6.5 million tons of water per day to Libya's agricultural, industrial, and municipal areas. With a network of pipes that currently transport drinking water from desert reservoirs to the nation's coastal cities, it's the largest irrigation project in the world. The project was conceived by the overthrown dictator Muammar Gaddafi, who referred to it as the eighth wonder of the world. Since it began in 1983, the project has already cost more than $36 billion. This project has witnessed a couple of delays till now due to the political unrest in the country. 2. New Alamein City, Egypt The Egyptian people's steadfast commitment to the country's development has helped create another architectural masterpiece. The new Alamein City, a singular megacity with features designed to meet the high standards of a contemporary smart city, is located in the country's north coast region within the administrative borders of the Matrao Governorate. The still under construction Borgel Arabic International Airport is located 85 kilometers west of Alamein, which is located on the Mediterranean Sea. The Egyptian government designed New Alamein to be a hub for the government, education, and tourism. The city is home to its own presidential palace, and work is currently being done on three universities, 30 skyscrapers, and high-rise towers at New Alamein, which will house over 30,000 hotel rooms. Phase 2 of the New Alamein mega-project, which includes 10 extra coastal towers, has started construction. Alamein city spans 60 kilometers across the southern coastline and uses a whooping 50,000 acres to house its population of over 3 million. The building process is broken down into several phases, the first of which is divided into two sections, each of which will house 400,000 people and cover 8,000 acres. The new city, which is expected to cost around $50 billion, will help Egypt establish itself as a leading regional business, investment, and tourism destination. This vision is in line with the government's commitment to the city's long-term sustainability and achieving principal development. The project is worth $50 billion. Number 1. Egypt's New Capital City the new administrative capital just outside Cairo encompasses Africa's tallest building, a crystal pyramid, and a vast disc-shaped palace for Mr. Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, inspired by the symbols for an ancient Egyptian sun god. It is the most expensive mega-construction project in Africa determined to reshape Egypt. Six years in the making, at an estimated cost of $59 billion, being built by the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. Construction of housing units in a new yet-to-be-named administrative capital of Egypt is fast coming to finishing, but delivery will be within the following years once key facilities have been installed. The smart city, 45 kilometers east of Cairo, is divided into 25 business and 21 residential areas. A recreation area twice the size of New York Metropolis's Central Park, 90 square kilometers of solar energy farms, and a number of man-made lakes will all be present in the city. There are also 2,000 educational facilities, 1,250 mosques, 663 hospitals and clinics, a technological park, 40,000 hotel rooms, a theme park four times the size of Disneyland, 
and a new international airport, among other noteworthy amenities. Although the overall cost of the project has not yet been revealed, the metropolis is undoubtedly one of Africa's largest mega-projects. As of now, $59 billion has been spent on the project. Thanks for watching. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and let us know which of the projects is the most amazing. Do not forget to also share with your friends.